My sticky lamb ribs are my family's all-time favourite. No party should be without them. As soon as I start thinking about making lamb ribs, I get hungry. Succulent and packed full of flavour, they're easy to make and even easier to eat. I start by adding one kilogram of ribs to a pan of water. I like using lamb ribs because they are lovely and tender. And they don't need that much cooking. A lot of the cooking will happen in the pan and then when I've got the glaze on, they'll be in the oven, out the oven and in my mouth. Bring to the boil, then simmer for 45 to 50 minutes. So while the lamb ribs boil, I'm going to get started on my sticky sauce. Heat 10 grams of soft, light brown sugar with two tablespoons of honey. So I just want to cook that till it just starts to bubble and the sugar has dissolved and it's, it's going to start becoming this lovely amber colour. Then put in three tablespoons of Worcester sauce, three of soy sauce and the same amount of balsamic vinegar. See, that's what I love about cooking. Sometimes you can just throw your entire contents of your cupboard into a recipe and it just works out. Remove from the heat and stir in garlic powder, ginger powder, ground coriander and chilli flakes. Those spices, as soon as they hit that hot caramel, they're going to start infusing. So what you don't want to do is have it on the heat and burn it. So take it off, add your spices and now, like, that smell. Mmm. You don't need much. See, as it's cooling, it's starting to stick to the side of the pan. You know what that means? That is going to stick to your ribs. While that cools, drain the ribs. So the ribs are cooked now, all they need is that lovely sticky glaze. So I've got my tray and I've lined it with some paper because as much as I love this sticky glaze, it does not like your ovenware. <laughs> They're looking a little bit sad at the moment, aren't they? Oh, wait. They are going to get so dressed up for this party, you won't even recognise them. Then cook in the oven at 200 degrees for about 10 minutes to dry them out and crisp them up. Now all they need is that sticky glaze. So this is the best bit. The lamb ribs are lovely and soft from simmering away in the water. And now, because they've been in the oven, they've got that lovely crisp top. Not looking so boring anymore, are they? Right now, the kids would be, they'd be all over this. They're like, oh, can we just eat it? It's cooked, right? We can eat this, right? I'm like, no, come on, guys. Patience, this is going to taste even better in 10 minutes. So whenever I make ribs, I always, always make more than I need because I have to account for the fact that little fingers are going to eat some before they even make it to the party and I have to account for the five that I'll eat before the party and then it's about feeding the guests. So lots and lots. Pop the ribs back in the oven for another 10 minutes, basting halfway through. And for the garnish, finely chop two large spring onions. I like to cut them on the wonk, a little bit slanted. I think that makes them look a little bit prettier. And then I'm going to chop up a big red chilli. And then I've got some fresh coriander. As if those ribs needed dressing up anymore. Ooh, look at those. <laughs> oh, they smell so good. The ribs are hot and sticky, and I know that the meat is soft. My mouth is watering. This is what parties are all about. And just to finish it off, I'm going to sprinkle it with some sesame seeds. And then I'm going to do some spring onion. Some chilli. And then lots of coriander on top. Look at that. Sticky, sweet ribs. You better get here because these are going to disappear fast. Deliciously sticky ribs make lots because believe me, your guests will be asking for more. <laughs>